Hello everybody, this is MK and I'm back. Today we are looking at Grade 8 Technology. Our topic is Generating Electricity for the Nation. Electrical Systems and Control. Let's go! Introduction Electrical energy in South Africa is generated at power stations by ESCOM. Electricity is made by machines called generators. Generators are turned by machines called turbines, which spin at high speed. The turbines are driven by steam, by fast flowing water or wind. Most of our electrical energy comes from steam powered generators. The steam comes from boilers which are like kettles, most of which are heated by burning coal. At Kuburg in the Western Cape, the boilers are heated by nuclear power. Water is also used to generate electrical energy. The energy of water stored in some large dams is used to produce hydroelectric power. Small amounts of electricity are generated by burning gas natural gas from the ground, diesel fuel made from oil and biofuels made from plants. A very small amount of electricity is generated by wind-powered turbines. Electricity for South Africa. A number of different sources of energy are used in South Africa. Each energy source has some advantages and some disadvantages. Have a look at this table showing the advantages and disadvantages of different energy sources. Feel free to pause the video and look closely to every energy source and the disadvantages and advantages it has. Before we continue, let's look at some key words non-renewable a non-renewable energy source cannot be replaced thermal power power that comes from heat energy thermal power stations and steam turbines almost all electricity generated in south africa comes from thermal power stations in thermal power stations the generators are turned by turbines which are driven by steam. The steam comes from boilers which are heated by coal, gas, nuclear power or the sun. Coal. South Africa has a lot of cheap coal and 93% of our electricity is generated by burning coal. Burning coal produces sulfur dioxide, which makes acid rain. When coal burns, the greenhouse gas called carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide adds to global warming, which leads to climate change. Acid rain and climate change are a threat to plants, animals and people. Gas and other fuels. Small amounts of electricity are generated by burning gas, diesel fuels and biofuels. Some businesses use these sources to generate electricity for their own use or to sell to ESCOM. Nuclear power. 5% of our electricity is generated by nuclear power stations. Nuclear power stations are expensive to build, but South Africa has large resources of nuclear fuel. Nuclear power stations do not harm the environment unless something goes wrong, but then the danger is great. The waste fuel is a problem, as it can harm the environment for many years. South Africa has a large nuclear power station at Kuburg, on the west coast near Cape Town. Sun. 
Engineers are still developing the technology for sun-powered thermal power stations. Large mirrors on the ground are used to concentrate the sun's energy on a boiler in a tower to produce steam. There are no sun-powered power stations in South Africa. Hydroelectric power stations and pumped storage schemes. Countries that get lots of rain use hydroelectric schemes to generate electricity. South Africa is a dry country and only 1% of our electricity comes from hydroelectric schemes. Our two main schemes are on large dams on the Orange River. 1% of our electricity comes from pumped storage power schemes which use spare electricity when the demand is low to pump water from low-lying dams to high-lying dams. When the demand for electricity is high, the water is allowed to flow back down to the low-lying dams. The energy of the moving water generates electricity. We have one such scheme in the Dragonsburg and one near Cape Town. Wind-driven turbines. Currently, South Africa produces very little wind-generated electricity. However, a pilot project is being developed at Fredendal on the windy west coast. The cost of wind-generated electricity is higher than the cost of electricity from thermal power stations. A single wind turbine produces little electricity, so it takes hundreds of wind turbines to replace one thermal generator. Thank you for watching and most importantly learning. This is MK's class, signing out.